I would like to do a short tutorial on how to calculate S, the standard deviation of the residuals. And I have some data here from problem 43 out of the TPS book, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can follow along with whatever data you have. The standard deviation of the residuals will tell me typically how wrong my line of best fit is or how far off the points are from the line. So the first thing I did, of course, was type the data into my calculator. You can see I've got it there. And then I need to calculate the regression line. So I'm going to press stat calc number eight. And I'll go ahead and store this into Y1. I think that's just a good habit to be in, to store my regression equation right there. Calculate, and I get this bit of information. Uh, if I hit a graph, I can see the line of best fit superimposed on top of the data points. And these little vertical distances are my residuals. What I'm looking for now is the typical deviation of those residuals or the standard deviation of the residuals as given by this formula. So one way to do this quickly with this formula is to take the residuals themselves and put them in L3. The calculator, of course, calculated and stored the residuals in a list for you. So highlight L3, press second list, and go down to where it says resid. You may not have all the lists I do, but you will have a resid list if you've done linear regression. So I'm copying my residuals into L3. That's this part. And then I need to square them all, so I'll do that in L4. Make that L3 squared. So L4 is the square of my residuals. Now I need to add them up. So second list, math, number five, add up L4. This is a two variable problem, so the degrees of freedom are in minus two. Which means I've got one, two, three, four, five data points. N minus two is three. Divide that by three. And then I need to take the square root of the whole thing to find the standard deviation. This number, 0.899, is the standard deviation of the residuals, or it's the amount that my line is typically off for each of the data points. That's how you do it.